Hey guys, so no, I did not get a new car. Uh, that is a rental car that I'm using while my car, my Corvette is in the shop getting repaired. I got in an accident about eight weeks ago. Uh, believe it or not, it was in a car wash. The guy behind me did not pay attention to the attendant and threw his car into drive instead of neutral and then slammed into me and pushed me forward into a minivan, which I hit as well. Uh, this car is, it's okay. Um, it's not the first Challenger I've ever driven. I have, uh, about a two years ago, drove the SRT8, which uh, definitely had more power than this, uh, six, six speed or a uh, six cylinder. And, uh, that one was actually a manual, which, uh, whereas this one is a automatic, uh, it's not quite as fun. Uh, in my opinion, it does have this little semi manual mode in which you can push the the shifter up or down and that changes the gears but it's really just not a great substitute for actually pushing down on a clutch and throwing the selector lever into a gear um it's okay like i said it's just a really big car um when i tried it a couple years ago with srt8 i felt the same way that yeah it, it has some power and it's definitely sporty but it just really a big car and I, I get it that it has the back seats and all whereas my corvette doesn't have back seats but even compared to my Mustang, this is a much bigger car, and my Mustang has uh, back seats, and it just doesn't feel quite as big. I mean, this is just, it just feels like a bit too much for a sports car, in my opinion. Um, it's also much higher off the ground, uh, and it's, a, it's which is another thing I just don't really, I'm not too crazy about. And overall, I just don't feel like this was a car I would buy myself. But it is definitely fun to try out and drive, and it might be something that, you know, maybe you or somebody else are into. And uh, it, it's definitely a, a sporty car, you know, otherwise. Um, I did, there is one thing I was pretty surprised about with this, this specific one. So this car actually has eight gears, which was pretty surprising to me, being that it's a eight, or it's a six cylinder, sorry. Um, when you put it in the semi-manual mode, you can move it all the way up into eighth gear, which again, I was really surprised about. Uh, especially since this is not like a sports package or anything like that. Another cool feature that this car has is there's a lot of different display menus you can choose from uh, to put on the dash. Uh, some of them are really based around like track and performance, which is pretty cool. There's one that actually allows you to time your 0-60, to 60, which was pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how uh, great it's going to work with an automatic. I mean, I'm not really sure how many times you can change that up but i guess maybe there's some fine tuning you can do um and maybe you'll get different times from going to 0 60. so like i said this is a it's a decent car um not something i personally would ever think about getting but it might be something that you might be interested in. and it's definitely a good sports car i guess for uh if you have you know those extra back seats in the back so you can actually bring people around in this car so for the meat of this video what i wanted to really talk about is workout programs, workout selections, exercises, and uh, what I feel like a lot of people get cut off in. Um, when it comes to selecting a workout, you know, it doesn't have to be exact, you don't have to follow things to the T a lot of the time. Um, there are definitely, especially with uh, exercise selection, there, there are definitely exercises that work better than others, but the key is, the absolute key to any program is to enjoy what you're doing because think about it this way you could have the best workout ever i mean it could be you know it could have clinical data saying that this is the 100 percent best workout you can do but if you absolutely hate it you're not going to follow that program right i mean you might do it for two or three weeks but that's going to be about it and it's much more important to actually enjoy your workouts um you know, even if, it, let's say, it was a workout program that only had 80% efficiency, something like that. Um, but if you do it for a year com uh, compared to only a couple of weeks or so, um, which one are you going to get better results on? Obviously, the one that you stick to. So a lot of people, I feel like, don't, uh, don't realize this. Um, if there's an exercise that you just absolutely hate, uh, maybe even a set of 
uh, maybe your rep uh, scheme you just absolutely hate you're maybe you're, you're you feel like it's taxing your body way too much if you're going maybe too low on reps and you have your your weight really really high or even the opposite where you don't feel like you're moving enough weight but you're doing tons of reps and you're just getting crazy burned out and you just can't complete your workout um, definitely make changes you know you can you can tailor your workouts to the what you feel like is the most enjoyable and that will over time produce better results. So don't feel like you're stuck in a workout. If you see something online or something like that, that you're, you're following or even one of my programs, if, if uh, my clients come to me and say, you know, Hey, there's, there's things about my, my workout program that I didn't like. I, you know, I, I address those and I make changes and that way we find a program that they'll stick to better and will enjoy throughout the, course of their program so it's definitely important to stick to a program but make sure you actually enjoy it you know you don't don't be feel like you're pulling teeth uh just trying to stick to the exact program there's definitely changes there's alternate exercises rips rep schemes you know rest periods all these different things you can change to improve uh your enjoyment of the program and keep you going forward so Make sure you guys are doing that and we'll see you tomorrow.